Hello, awesome open cell guy fans. So today I just want to show you some uh, extra plugins, add-ons for Compass. Um, I showed you some extra plugins last week, and you seem to like it. So uh, here's a few new plugins. So uh, yeah, actually before we start, I want to mention that um, I got a block spot, uh, block channel, whatever you want to call it. Um, I believe the URL is uh, ubuntuhelpguy.blogspot.com but uh, I'll include a link in the doobly-doo so uh, go check that out um, do me a favor check it out uh, actually I got uh, give some credit to my friend Rasmus or Rasmus um, he helped me uh, make the uh, channel, the Blogspot channel. Uh, he made all the graphics details. So uh, thank you, Rasmus or Rasmus. He actually uh, told me to say that he was a great, handsome, sexy, wonderful, and epic mate. So now you know, guys. He's awesome. So yeah, thank you, Rasmus. Um, so uh, let's get started. Okay. This site I'll include it in the doobly doo, obviously. I got this site from uh, got Bletu. It's an awesome Ubuntu help uh, Ubuntu mate. Um, got this site from him, uh, and he made a video about this site. Uh, I think it's about a year ago. So uh, the site is a bit updated because Ubuntu is getting easier. Yeah, I believe so. So. Um, yeah, what you need to do is open up a terminal and you'll type in let's see sudo apt get install jit core right here to install jit core obviously now you'll install jit clone jit uh, slash slash anon jit something compass something something and that is the script right here, the script. After that, you'll type this in script compass addons and press enter. Uh, I won't show you um, the full installation because it takes like 5 to 10 minutes. So um, I'm not gonna do that, but I'm gonna press enter on this one and it will say I for install is skip. U on it at all, A install all remaining without prompting, Q quit. So obviously you will press or type in A and press enter. So uh, that's that. Okay. I'll not do that. But when that's done, you will uh, log out and log in again. And you will go to System, Preferences, and Compass Config Settings Manager. You'll open that. Did you see that uh, effect um, when I just opened Compass Config? That was a new one from that uh, command we just, yeah, I just put in. So uh, yeah, we got new some uh, new effects here, like static windows. Let's see this anaglyph thing. I believe it called. I actually don't know what that is for. You get some new animations. Animations Plus and Simple Animations. So if we go to Animations, we will see here. I got the helix right here. We'll open and there's let's see Bonanza, Bounce, Expand, Expand, Piece Wise, and stuff like that. Fly in. There's a lot of new effects. So let me zoom out a bit. Okay, if you, uh, you'll see, I have the helix one. So I press close and I open my home folder. You'll see the new effect. Okay, cool. Now we'll go back. You have this 3D or cube 3D models. I believe that's for if you find some uh, cube formations on the interwebs, you can paste them in here. I really don't know. I think it's that. Uh, we get this 
cube Atlantis and cube snow globe. I want to show you that cube Atlantis now. Look at that. It's like an aquarium. Very nice. Okay. And now this uh, cube snow globe. It's like this. Wow. Awesome epicness or epic awesomeness, whatever. It's snow falling. So amazing. God, I love it. Okay, enough of that. Uh, we get. Let's see, let me zoom in again. This freely transformable windows. Okay, we'll enable that. And let me zoom out. It's initiate rotation. I'll try that. Shift control. Let's see if I can do this. Shift control and button one. Wow, amazing. It looks a kind uh, kind of laggy because I'm recording, but it's like this. You can also do this. Okay, very cool. And you can do this. Yeah, it's pretty much the same, but anyway. So I will press Shift, Control, and R to reset. Okay, I will just disable that. So with that's that animation, you'll get this wizard. Let's try that one. Let's enable it. Ignore. Super W. Wow, amazing! It's like Harry Potter, or something. Yep, yeah, that's that one. It's cool. Another f uh, new feature. What else? Let's see this. Add dialogue, ghost and the snow, stars and fireflies, screensaver and elements. So let me show you fireflies. Key bindings. Let's enable super F7. Okay, it's cool as well. Go back. Um, so, as you can see, there's a lot of new effects, and in here, w window management, there's a lot of new effects. Like uh, this tile, I'll make a video about this uh, animation. Uh, swap windows. Let's see this uh, smart pot toggle decoration. Let me show you this stack window switcher. Okay, so we'll enable that. Ignore conflicts. And let's see. It's right here. Super tab. Okay, it looks like that. Pretty cool. So, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, cool features. Or cool new animations. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to try this, then just uh, I'll have all the information in the doobly doo. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching and have a very nice day. Catch you guys later. Bye.